My name is Paul Kroger, and I'm the executive director of Vine and Village. It's a thrill to be out here on a beautiful Tuesday with hundreds of people that are once again coming to get quality, high nutritional food from us at the orchard. There's so much that we've been given from the standpoint of resources within Vine and Village to give back to our community. This is just simply one way. And of course, during the time of the COVID pandemic, it's been all the more important to be able to help people have a regular high quality food source. As you can see behind me today, there are cars that are lined up. Literally, they go for two or three or four blocks weaving through our parking lot as they're waiting to be served via curbside down in this direction at our loading dock. We had been serving for years inside doing what we called client choice where people could select whatever foods they wanted but of course we couldn't do that once the pandemic hit and so we've moved to a different strategy and that's simply having people stay in the safety of their vehicle and our crew will come out and they'll load groceries into their vehicle in a way that's just an amazing process to watch you know last year during 2020 we gave out over a million pounds of food, all free of charge, serving over 23,000 guests of people that live primarily within 72204. I just reflect back into Matthew chapter 4, where Jesus said this. He was traveling in and throughout Galilee, and it said in the scripture that he was healing, teaching, and preaching. You know, Jesus used works of miracles. He used the good works that he could bring in a tangible way to meet the real needs and felt needs of people that would give him a platform to be able to talk about the gospel where he could teach and ultimately where he could preach and be able to give people the good news of Jesus that he had to bring to them. And that's what we do. We give a chance here through all of what Vine and Village does to create an opportunity to meet real needs, felt needs, and to build trust within our audience of hundreds of people, literally thousands of people, so we can speak into their lives as well with credibility and trust and bring them food that just doesn't last for a day or a week, but food that would transform their life by giving them not just bread to eat, but the bread of life. And we're excited to be able to do that. Along with all that we do within Vine and Village, one of the things throughout the pandemic that's increased in demand as well as food has been the need for immigration counseling. Many of you know that we offer the largest immigration service in the state. It's giving people a chance to have the kind of documentation leading to naturalization for many people. Also something that I think you, you find interesting, not only are people coming here and getting food today, but we have volunteers, people that just like you are a part of Mosaic and that have already gone through the line stopping and talking with every vehicle. Again, they've taken precautions with face masks, socially distanced, but they're asking for people, what needs do you have beyond food? Is it clothing? We refer people then to Patricia Shade with the prep room, which is of course our clothing closet. But then it's just taking a moment and praying with people. Every car, every week is met with people like Perry Brown and Bill Smith, and Elijah Moorhead, and the list just goes on and on that are taking their time to come out and to minister to people here. So again, it goes so much farther than just meeting the needs of food, but it's meeting the spiritual needs within their lives. We'd love to have you join us, whether it's at the Chess Club with Georgia Morris, as now we've changed and made that primarily uh, available on Zoom, which is a expanded our audience actually worldwide with the capability of Zoom and the other programs that are still functioning even in a different way during this time of the COVID pandemic. Join with us, investigate us, go to our website at vineandvillage.org, look us up on Facebook and find out how you could plug in and maybe come alongside working shoulder to shoulder with us, making a difference here in our community, not just for today, 
not just for tomorrow or two decades from now, but eternally. Come join us. Be a part of what we're doing.